It's getting cold in Japan, which means it's nabe season. During the winter, I make nabe two to three times a week because it's easy, versatile, and really warming. On this channel, we've made the basic yosei nabe, a spicy kimchi nabe, and two regional varieties. But today, we'll make one with miso. It's a really hearty and rich version. I'll show you to make it. Let's get started by making the broth. We'll start with about 750 milliliters of water. Add to that about four tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sake, one tablespoon of dashi, and a couple of teaspoons of sugar to help round it out. Turn on the heat while the dashi and sugar dissolves. Let's get two other key components ready, ginger and garlic. This is unique compared to other hot pots. We'll grate both directly into the soup. This gives the soup a real richness and depth. After both are grated, give that a good mix and let that come to a simmer. You may see some foam on the surface. Just skim it away, leaving as much of the ginger and garlic solids as possible. Now the miso. I'm using some red miso, which is not as refined or smooth compared to white miso, but either will do in this recipe. We'll add about two to three tablespoons, but one tablespoon at a time. Add some to your ladle, take in some broth, stir it in the ladle until the miso liquefies and add it back into the soup. Continue this process until everything is incorporated. The soup should become opaque with miso like this right here. With the soup ready, I'm just gonna turn off the heat once while we prepare the ingredients. What you add to the nabe is really up to you, but I'm using some napa cabbage, a carrot, bean sprouts, shungiku, chrysanthemum greens, shimeji mushrooms, and some atsuage, some thick cut fried tofu. Whatever vegetables you go with, just make sure they're cut to roughly the same size. I'll be cutting the carrots into strips, the cabbage into chunks, the mushrooms I'll just cut off the end and break apart, the shungiku I'll rinse, and roughly cut in half. I'll also be using some long green onion cut on the bias. Let's cut the tofu in half. It looks like this inside. In the US, it might be sold as bean curd. Cut that into chunks and it's ready. For the protein, I'm using some pork belly slices, but feel free to use what you like. I would also make this with bite-sized chicken thighs. Okay, we're almost ready for assembly. Let's first taste the broth and adjust if necessary. Mm. This is good though. Let's start with a base of bean sprouts right in the center. This will provide nice support for the other ingredients, which we'll place around the pot, like this. And that is looking like a picture-perfect nabe. Turn on the heat, and because everything is a similar size, it should cook at the same rate. Once it comes to a simmer, cover it up, and let that cook on a medium-low for about 8-10 to 10 minutes. Make sure to ladle broth over the meat to help it cook. Simmer for another few minutes until the meat and vegetables are cooked through. Serve in bowls, it's commonly eaten with a pot in the center of the table. If you have a portable burner, you could continue to add vegetables and meat in, and eat as you go. Finally, sprinkle with a little shichimi. There we have miso nabe, hope you give it a try at home. For more nabe recipes, check out this playlist next. Thanks for watching. During the winter, I make nabe two to three times a week because it's easy, versatile, and really warming.